Creating alignment parameters. An alignment parameter is a parameter that will automatically line up our entire block with some object on our drawing. So therefore, it eliminates the need to have a, ro a rotation uh, a parameter or rotate the block. It just automatically does it and requires no action. So let's create an alignment parameter. In this case, we have here a, a valve. And we're going to align this gate valve with some pipes. So uh, we have this valve drawn. And uh, first, we have to make a block out of it. So I'm going to go up to Insert and create a block. And I'm going to call it a gate valve. And I'm going to select all the objects. I'm going to pick an insertion point, uh, and I'll I'll pick right here in the middle, and I'll say uh, OK. And now I'm going to open it up in my block editor. <coughs> now that I'm in my block editor, I want to put in an alignment parameter. So I go on over to my block authoring palettes, go into my parameters. I'm going to my alignment parameter. I click on the alignment and it says specify the base point of the alignment or name. Now, um, we could we could probably change the name later or it's probably best to do it now because uh, but we'll do it later. Uh, but I recommend you do it now usually. I'm going to pick the base point here and uh, now I'm going to specify the type of alignment. Our types determine not how it aligns but uh, where the alignment grip's going to be. So uh, I'm going to hit T for type, hit enter, and I get two, two of them. I can get per uh, perpendicular or tangent. And perpendicular allows the, the grip to be perpendicular to the alignment line. And tangent is going to have a tangent to the alignment line. We're going to go with tangent. So I hit T and hit Enter. And then it says uh, specify the alignment direction at this point. <clears throat> at, over here now, we're going to go and pick uh, on the end point. Uh, and that's going to define our direction. So I can pick on this endpoint, or I could pick on this intersection. And I'm going to pick on this endpoint right here. And I pick, and it's created at this point. Now, typically, what we do at this uh, at this spot, we would save our block. <clears throat> then we'd test the block in our test block window. And we'd actually draw a line, say, on an angle. And we'd see if it would line up with that uh, line uh, in the test block. And then once we've used it and we're sure that it worked well, we'd save it and exit the block editor. And then our dynamic block's ready to use with our alignment parameter.